Mr. Gatsby. I'd like to know. Exactly who are you, anyhow? You know, I went to a lovely party. And usually these parties are boring, but I went, it was uh, an exquisite one was given by um, uh, three lovely supporters of the film. And honestly, it was a Gatsby party, but it was one with feeling and, and, and there was a genuine excitement, I think, that people are going out to see the movie. You know, that despite the debate, and the debate is good, but people really are going out to see the movie. And what's so exquisite is that Fitzgerald himself wrote that book 20 miles up that hill. And he was up that hill 20 miles while his wife was having an affair on that beach. And it was painful for him. And I wonder if he could imagine that nearly 90 years later, his film would be premiering at the Palais down here and in 3D. So it's there's something, something strange and majestic about it. I think when you talk of movie star, Leonardo has immense natural charisma. And early on in his career, he could have just lent on that. What Gatsby allows, and he considered this very deeply, is that it also requires complicated and quite deep acting. I mean, it really is the Hamlet of America. And so not only does he, does he Gatsby must have charisma. And by, my, by that I mean star quality. Gatsby, the character, is star quality. Gatsby is also very complicated and so hard to eke out. And uh, you can say what you like about the film, but no one will deny the achievement of Leonardo DiCaprio in the interpretation of that role. You know, something amazing happened when I did the first test in 3D. Leonardo turned to the camera and he said, I'm Gatsby. And there was a guy, a tech, an old man, he said, you know what, movie stars are big again. They used to be big on the screen and they're big again. So I think that's beautiful. Funnily enough, I wasn't doing the best, like my whole mission from the moment I had that epiphany on that train in Siberia, rereading it at the age of 40 was to reveal the novel. And so everything I've done, I mean obviously one probably have techniques that are associated with, with the way I make films, but everything I've done in that movie is to reveal the novel and, you know, at the end of Fitzgerald, when Fitzgerald wrote the novel he was horribly criticised. The big critic of the day called him a clown, called his characters marionettes. I mean, he tried to write the great American novel and he died buying copies of it because no one was buying it. He was forgotten. You know, um, no matter what happens, the most fulfilling thing for me is that when we had the premiere in New York, this regal older woman came out of the audience, you know, and she she took me by the hand and she said, um, uh, I've come all the way from Vermont to see what you've done with my grandfather's book. Mm -hmm. and of course, I was excited to know that it was the grandfather of Fitzgerald, granddaughter of Fitzgerald. And she said, I think it would be very proud because people have said for years you can't do his first person narrative. And, and I like the music, she said, which really surprised me. But the bottom line is, is that Audiences are going out to see that film. And he did write the great American novel, he just died not realizing it. My life, my life has got to be like this. It's got to keep going on.